Hey folks, uh, thank you so much for tuning back into our channel, Martech Market. Uh, hope you're all having a great day. In our last video, we covered uh, six basic analytics a uh, retention marketer or a growth marketer should know, right? Uh, they were majorly funnel analytics, cohort analytics, RFM analytics, conversion drivers, behavioral analytics, uh, and product performance, right? Today, we are going to cover one aspect of it in a little detail. Uh, which is cohort analytics. So before we get into why we do cohort analytics or how we do cohort analytics, we'll, let's understand what is a cohort, right? Um, so cohort is a set of audience who show similar characteristics or a group of audience who have done similar behavior, shown similar behavior. It's, it's nothing but a group of audience which has some interrelation among each other. Uh, that's what is a cohort. Right. Let's quickly get into uh, an analysis that we are doing for a particular uh, brand. So today in this session, you would see us uh, doing cohort of all those people. Th this particular cohort is nothing uh, but all those users who have installed this particular brand's app in the last one month and has already uninstalled. Right. The, the behavior shown this of this cohort is the all of these audience have installed this app and all of these audience have uninstalled the app, right? Now, this is the analysis that we are trying to do. Uh, what we have found out is, um, so this particular brand's retention rate is 55%, which means if 100 users install their app within one month, 45 users would have uninstalled and 55 would have got retained, right? We did further analysis using cohort. What we actually found out is, we try to split this 45% into different days, right? For 30 days, we split this data into 30 days and we try to understand when are they actually uninstalling. What we were able to see is, uh, while the uninstall rate for, for month one is 45%, 40% uninstalled by week one itself, which means if 100 users are installing, while we said 45 ends up uninstalling by month one, uh, 40 of those users are actually uninstalling by week one itself, which means 90% of the total uninstallers are uninstalling by week one. What we also further were able to analyze is at least 22% of the audience are uninstalling by day zero, day one, which means among the 40, if 22 are uninstalling by day zero, day one, it's about 55% of your audience are ending up uninstalling within uh, day zero and day one. So two things that this customer will have to take care, what they'll have to take care is, how do you retain a customer for next seven days? They'll have to strategize in such a way that uh, how do they exactly, what kind of communication will they have to do to ensure they are able to retain their customer for the next seven days? At the same time, they'll also have to focus on how do they first retain their customer for the first two days? Right? So all their communication strategies would be on the lines of retaining customer for first, first goal would be to ensure they retain their customer for first two days. Then their major goal would be to ensure they're able to retain their customer for next seven days. If they're able to do that, the uninstalled rate, we, if you see by this graph or if you see by this data, you clearly can see that once a user crosses seven days, the rate of uninstallation is very, very low. It goes as low as less than 1%, which means if they're able, this brand is able to retain their customer for one day, or if they're able to retain it for seven days, their, their job is done. Their retention metrics could improve. Uh, usually what we see is we cannot retain all of this 100% uh, percent of the users. A good retention rate among the uh, organic uninstalled rate is say about 30%. If you're able to reduce this uninstall rate from 40 to 30%, that's great. That's good enough for this brand, right? So we understood for this particular brand, um, by this cohort analytics, we should be uh, ensuring that we are able to retain an audience for uh, next one day or max to next seven days. Uh, half your work is done. Uh, like I said, if 30% you're able to retain, that's great. Um, but the cohort analysis does not end here. There is a common cohort that we created basis all those people who uh, do a first app launch, which is installing our app to uninstalling our app. We would like to add further nitty gritties to it or further segment this uh, to uh, say instead of all contacts or all audience, 
we would try to reduce it to uh, say all those male audience in your business, all those female audience in your business. So this graph would generally change. So then you'll understand uh, when would a male audience uh, uninstall your app, when would a female audience uninstall your app. Male and female is just a placeholder. It's just to uh, uh, let you know that how detailed you can go into this. Right, it could be city, it could be certain source of acquiring a user. If you see, uh, if I take the same graph, right, if 15.2% is day zero uninstall rate, or say 16 to 19% is day zero uninstall rate, and among this 16% uh, or among this 20% that you see in this line, if say 90% uh, uh, of this is coming from a particular source you would never be able to retain it. It's, it's, it's a problem with the source of acquiring a customer, right? You'll have to just simply stop acquiring users from that source. You can focus on a different source, uh, which is going to give you a better uh, retention rate. Probably that's the analysis we'll do. So what we'll do is uh, instead of all contacts, we'll just uh, put a filter of different sources here, sources of acquisition, FB, TikTok, or whatever it is, right? Affiliate marketing, Google, SEO, from wherever these users are coming in, what kind of communication they have seen, we create such segments and further analyze this to understand which set of audience retain in your business that's going to help you with your acquisition strategy. But among this also, people coming from the best source also would end up uninstalling. To avoid that, we focus on how exactly uh, can we reduce these churns by uh, doing this day zero, day one interventions, day seven interventions. Uh, these are few strategies that we will be focusing. Hope this was useful. Uh, thank you for tuning back to our channel, MarTech Market. Uh, please subscribe so that you get more videos on your feed. Have a great day.